Honoranta Nakato celebrated her quintuplet's second birthday on the 9th of September. The breast cancer survivor and secondary school teacher says this is one of her happiest moments alive. Nakato says she waited for more than 20 years for a moment like this. I used to play almost every day, every time that God, I cried for you to give me these babies. I have got them. Please help me. And at least I see them at any stage. Nakato's desires to have children with her husband were almost shattered due to a health complication that rendered her infertile. They told me my one of my tubes were blocked. Infertility is defined as a disease of the reproductive system and results in disability. But when I went to Men's Hospital International, Koto, that is where they helped me and I used the IVF. Dr. Tamale Sali is the founder and director of the Women's Hospital International and Fertility Center. In a lecture-like conversation, Dr. Sali explained and illustrated the causes of infertility, which he says affects both men and women. 60% is due to tubes. The tubes are diseased. Then about 25% is a man has a problem. A man has a problem. A man has a problem. But this man thinks that the woman who has a problem. The man contributes about 25 to, to 30 percent of the problem. And the balance, um, 10 percent, is both of them have a problem. Also fibroids. African women, we, unfortunately, we have this gene which causes fibroids. And they do very big tumors which uh, causes, distorts the fibroid, the housing makes a lot of holes around in, within the uterus and the woman cannot actually conceive. Uh, kids who have had um, mambaluga, these mumps, it goes to the testis and destroys it. Dr. Sally also elaborates the remedy, in vitro fertilization. For IVF, we remove the eggs, this one, and we put them in a tube. After that, their babies are formed and we just transplant them inside here, the uterus here. And then we follow these patients. However, those who come from outside, maybe from Kavale or things, we tell them, you know, we write a medical report, goes to a doctor there, we identify a doctor, we call them, please do this, do this, do this, do this, do this. But if you overload this uterus with babies like this lady, a lot of complication can happen, you can miscarry. So we have to be very careful to assess a patient, it's not the age only, but also look at the whole well-being of a woman. Like even if she's young and she's got kidney disease or any problem, heart disease, we, we advise her to rent another lady to carry a baby for. That's what we call surrogacy. For me, I managed to carry those babies up eight months without any problem. Nakato had her prayers answered in abundance, unexpectedly, as she says. I was so lucky and I even called them miracle babies. At first I thought maybe they would not reach this stage but at least I have, I'm very happy about it because I've managed to keep them up to this time. Nakato's new challenge is now the expense to manage her bundle of joy. And those who used to give us something these days they no longer because they see them. And when it comes to COVID problem, it is terrible. Nobody can give you some, some money. I used to have my sisters and brothers, those in town, they used to at least give us something, sponsor us. But you know the, the businesses and the COVID. The father is in a private school. Though for me, I'm in the government. I can earn some little salary from the government. But for him, is in private and little and as I talk now in COVID they are not paying and that is why I even decided to stay here with my mom. However, 
Dr. Sali says the hospital follows up all its patients. I'm praying for these kids. Maybe some of them will become doctors. She has two boys, three girls, all of them. They can come. After we've gone, they can come maybe and work with us here. For the sake of preventing oneself from the struggles of infertility, Dr. Sally advises couples to try and have children as soon as they can. When you're married, uh, within two years, with no kids, check. Both of you check yourself. Don't waste time. Best time to have a child, a baby, or to conceive is between the age of 12 and the age of 35. Combined studies in Africa show that secondary infertility is sharply increasing with age from 2 to 5 percent of 20 to 25 year old women to 60 to 70 percent of 40 to 50 year old women and where medical investigations have occurred tubal factors account for much higher proportion of infertility in Africa than in other regions. Walter Mwesije, NTV.